How to approximate this? The thousandth root of 2. Watch the video and learn this trick. Only 4% people will subscribe to me. Are you one of the 4%? Here is a root. Hmm, and here is number 1000. A large number and an ugly root. So firstly, transform it. We can transform it this into an exponential form. 2 to the power of 0 0.001. Because we have the formula, the bth root of a is equal to a to the power of 1 over b. So a is 2, b is 1000. So the thousand root of 2 is 2 to the power of 1 over 1000. 1 over 1000 is 0 0.001. So this is 2 to the power of 0 0.001. And then, what shall we do? How shall we approximate an exponential form? Transform it. We know that a is equal to e to the power of the natural log of a. So this can be written as e to the power of the natural log of this number. So then, it is much more complicated. No, actually not. It should be easier, and it must be easier, and it will be easier. Look. What shall we do? We have a formula. Which formula? The natural log of a to the power of b is b times the natural log of a. This one, and use it. So, it is e is the base, the exponent is 0 0.001 times the natural log of 2. Now, we know the natural log of 2. If you don't know it, memorize it. Natural log of 2, it is approximately equal to 0 0.693. Don't worry, I will make a video on the approximation of logarithms. Look forward to it. So now what you should do is to memorize this natural log of 2. Try to understand try to remember and try to memorize okay i'm gonna post a video explaining the trick about logarithms i'd rather write approximately equal to e to the power of 0 0.001 times the natural log of 2 is approximately equal to 0 0.693 Everybody can. It is e to the power of 0 0.001 times this number. So it's going to be 0 0.000693. And now, approximate this. I have a trick. Taylor expansion. Here, e to the power of x it is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared divided by 2 factorial plus x cubed divided by 3 factorial plus x to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial and so on. Taylor expansion of the function e to the power of x. This. So now what's x? x is 0 0.000693. So now, substitute. We can substitute this ugly x for here. For this expansion, we can see that this term, this term, this term, and those terms for x for this number, our x, 
is approximately equal to zero. So x squared is actually close to zero, and then divided by two, x cubed much closer, then divided by six, x four much 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 closer, then divided by twenty four. So these terms are actually approximately equal to zero. So in this case, only in this case, because x is actually approximately equal to zero, we can say that the approximation of this number, this term, is actually one plus x. And we know that x is 0 0.000693. So now, substitution. We can get, or here is actually approximately equal to, that would be better. So it is 1.000693. Press this on your calculator, and your calculator is going to tell you approximately equal to 1.000693. So, we are correct, and the approximation was really great. Give a thumbs up for this wonderful trick. We'll see you next time.